Well, as we told you last night, a Marine stationed aboard Marine Corps Air Station New River died after being struck by lightning. His death and other strikes across the east are bringing the dangers of lightning back to the forefront. First Alert Meteorologist Pierce Legion has tips on how to keep you and your family safe. Lightning is an ever-present danger here in the east, especially this time of year. July is the most dangerous month of the year for lightning. Believe it or not, lightning deaths rank second only to flood deaths every year across the country. The U.S. averages about 50 lightning deaths a year, and North Carolina can be a dangerous place, ranking in the top four states in the country yearly for lightning deaths. I think they're aware that thunder's coming and aware that they hear the lightning, see the lightning, hear the thunder, um, and they, everyone thinks they have time. If you hear thunder, you need to go, period. Even more important is finding the best place to go. One common misconception is that getting underneath an overhang like this one is enough to keep you safe from lightning. Flanagan's quick to point out, though, that simply isn't true. People think if they're not wet that they're okay, that they're in this bubble of safety, but lightning doesn't hit that way. It tends to hit the ground and then radiates out. Nobody has died inside a building from lightning. Flanagan suggests going inside a building with four walls, then waiting to go back outside until 30 minutes after you last see lightning or hear thunder. Lightning can happen any time of the day or night, but tends to be most concentrated during the late afternoon and evening. In Greenville, meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side.